three weeks. That's all the time we got before you still come. So we gotta start grinding, okay? Hello everybody, I'm Carr, and today we're gonna be doing some more used to go. Specifically, a bronze walkthrough with C++. Alright, so today we got Youth Scope Problem, January Contest 2017, Bronze Problem 2, Puff, Paper, Scissors. Dude, they have such creative names. Wait, honestly, though. Anyway, so, you have probably heard of the rock game Rock, Paper, Scissors. Yes, I have. The gallons like to play a similar game they call Hook, Paper, Scissors. Dang. The rules of Hook, Paper, Scissors are simple. Two cows play against each other, they both count to three, then they each make a gesture that represents either a hoof, be the paper, or scissors. Hoof beats scissors, scissors beats paper, paper beats hoof. Okay, not too complicated. And yeah, okay. And then Farmer John watches it in fascination as they play end games. Okay. And then you can see that they're making three types of gestures, but he can't tell which one represents what. Interesting. They, they all seem variations of hoof. Dude, whoever, who has this problem? Oh, Brian Dean. Shout out to Brian Dean. This is an amazing problem statement, not gonna lie. Alright, so he doesn't know the meaning, so he assigns them numbers 1, 2, and 3. And then he wants to check. So he gives them numbers 1, 2, and 3, and given the gestures made by both cows, determine what's the maximum number of games that the first cow could have possibly won. So basically our n, the number of games, is less than 100, right? So that means we can have like an n to the fourth algorithm. So, I don't think we had to worry too much about the timing of our algorithm, we just had to solve this problem somehow. Alright, so the input format, first line includes n, then the remaining n lines represent a game, which represents which gesture each cow did. And then it's saying, print the maximum number of games that the first two cows could have possibly won. How can we do this? Well, okay, let's just look through the sample input, right? So we know the first game, one cow did like gesture 1 and the other cow did gesture 2. And then in the second game, one did gesture two and the other did gesture two. So in this case, like neither of them could have won. This has to be a tie. So there's no way this even contributes to a winning of you know, the first cow. All right. And then one, three. Okay. One, one doesn't contribute either. And then three, two. All right. So we want to find the maximum number of games it could have won. So let's just say that like one is hook, two is paper and three is scissor, right? Then, wait, let's write that down. So that means the second cow would win the first one, the second cow would lose this second one, and then the first cow would also win the- so it would win these two games, if this was the thing. Wait, honestly? Wait. There's only six ways to assign hook, paper, and scissors to one, two, and three, right? So why don't we just try all the possibilities, and then just go through it, because then we just have to do 6 times 100 times, so that's 600, and that's like easily within our 10 to the 9 boundary. So yeah, basically the strategy is assign 1, 2, and 3 to hook, paper, scissors. We could do that in 6 ways, and then we go through each of the games, check how many the cow won given the mapping, and then print out the maximum of all of those. Alright, let's get into the code, the epic code. Alright, first stuff first, we make our other effing stuff. Alright, now that we have all our f ins, now what we could do is we could make our variable. So we first have to have an int n, of course. Then we need two arrays, one to store the first cow's moves and one to store the second cow's moves. Alright, so now we stored all the moves and now let's read in everything. Let's start with c in so we can actually test it out. So c in n and then a for loop to read in the rest. Alright, epic. Now, every now everything's read in, right? Now we basically just have to have every single permutation that we could possibly have. So how do we do permutations of hook, paper, scissors? Huh, let's go back to the drawing board so we can see how to implement this. So the hardest part about this problem is to generate the permutations of hook, paper, scissors, right? We want to have one, two, three, and then map them to HPS. So we just want to draw lines so that they all map to each other. Now what happens if we just fixed all these things? So one always is with H, two is always with P, and three is always with F. Then, what we could do is if we want like the given one to map to the one over here so if we want to but then how do we like change it up because there's six ways to map it so how can we just generate all those six ways well what happens if we have like a table of who beats who so let's say it's like a three by three by three table right all right so we have this basically this square represents whether one could be one this square represents whether two could be one this one three could be one and so on so we know that 1 can't be 1 because ties don't matter, so we cross it out. Then 2 can't be 2, cross it out, 3 can't be 3. So let's say that 1 could be 2, right? That means that 2 has to be able to beat 3, and that means that 1 can't beat 3. What's the other possibility? That means the other possibility is that 1 can't beat 2, 
which means it has to be able to be 3, and that means that 2 can't be 3. So, there's actually only two possibilities. Wait, this is insanely good. That means we just make two different arrays, and then test both of them and see which one's more. Holy. Alright, let's do that. So just to fill in the rest of the array, it's just basically, you take all this and it's the opposite, because where 1 beats 2, this is just 2 beats 1, which is not true. Alright, so let's just construct these two arrays in our thing, and then we should be good. Alright, we have our two types of arrays, now we basically just go through both types of arrays and test which one has a better score. So we'll start with the int total, which is the total number of winnings for the first cow, and then we had to loop through all the games. So, if type 1 cow a a i cow b i so basically this says does cow a i beat cow b i so if it does then we just add to our total but remember we want two totals right we want a total with the first type of array and one total with the second type of array so total one and total two so we make this top one and then if we use it on the type two array then we gotta do to 2 plus plus. And then we just see out the maximum of the two. And to do that, we gotta include math.h. Alright, epic, let's test this. Alright, it works on the sample case, it doesn't say much, but let us try running it. Replace out all the scenes with fins and we are Gucci. Alright, this is probably not gonna work the first time because it never does, but we'll see. What? But it does. Wait up. Wait, what? But it works on the command line. Look at this test. This is Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I see, I see. So basically, the pro I don't know why it was not working over here, but basically, in our arrays, we're going from zero to two, right? But they give it to us in one to three. So we had to shift everything down. All right, this should work slightly better. All righty, moment of truth. Very nice. Oh shoot, one millisecond on all of them? That's pretty good. All right, we did it. Epic. Wait, this is actually a pretty interesting problem. Huh, I've never had to use matrices like that, that's actually kind of cool. So basically in this case, we just like tried out different things, try to see how the game worked, and then we just saw that one, if 1 beats 2, then we know that 2 beats 3, and then 3 beats 1, and there's only two ways we could do that, either 1, 2, 3, or we go 1, 3, 2. When you're doing a brawn problem, generally, you don't be afraid of like brute forcing it, because honestly, most brawn problems are going to be brute force, and just trying all options is a really good way to do it in CS. Alrighty, that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and see you guys next time.